all right what's going on guys t torres back here for another video so in today's video connor and i have our adventure bikes i have my honda transalp xl 750 and he has his ibex 800 and we are headed to barber vintage fest 2024 it's Thursday morning. Uh, we just got some fuel and some energy drinks and uh, about to hit the road. Uh, we're not gonna be able to camp there this year. We're gonna be staying at a buddy's house in Birmingham. So we'll be going back and forth uh, each day. I'm just gonna show you guys our bikes and the way we have it packed out. All right, so here is uh, Connor's bike. He's got everything packed out. Uh, we have a little cooler. He has a top case, um, nice little seat cushion. And we have a spare fuel bottle. We've got a tire inflator kit attached to it. Just random stuff that we think we need to uh, have for our first uh, main voyage. It's gonna be about five hours and some change depending on how many times we gotta stop for a fuel and we'll stop and get something to eat for lunch. And then here's uh, here's my bike packed out with clothes and all kind of certain, certain things we're gonna need. So we're gonna get on the road and uh, yeah, pray for safe travels. All right, first stop we rode probably a little over a hundred miles and we stopped up here at a gas station got a little piece of pizza and then um they don't they don't have 87 here so we're going to go on down the road closer yeah they don't have 93 they only have 87 so we're in i don't know beat rice beatrice beatrice alabama and uh yeah so far the ride's been good weather's been great um you definitely tell we're in alabama um i don't the road we were riding was a bunch of freaking log trucks Destination. Yeah, final destination stuff, but so far so good. We had to take a short little pit stop, check out the scenery, if you know what I mean. Plus, I wanted to, I wanted to stretch, and we are literally in BF. I have no idea where we're at, and I don't know what these people out here do for fun. But we're gonna take a nice little break, get some water, and then uh, get back on the road. All right, we have made it to our final destination here in Fultondale. Alabama is where we're going to be setting up base camp uh, until we get um, through with our journey. And then Connor said it was right around about 266 miles. And then it's about, uh, how far are you from the track? 25 minutes? Yeah. About 25 minutes. So we'll wake up early in the morning and uh, we'll be at Venice Fest uh, hopefully by uh, 830, 9 o'clock all right good morning everybody it is a little after 7 30 it's like 50 degrees out here and uh the gates open at eight didn't think it's gonna be this cold it's not this cold in florida yet so we're gonna hop on the bikes and uh head in grab our passes and uh hopefully get signed up do some demo rides and look at some cool stuff a lot of stuff on the agenda today for the uh schedule so we'll have stuff to do from the time we get there to the time we leave Let's go. All right, so we made it over here to uh, to Bucky's. That was our first stop. Got some breakfast, a little sausage, egg and cheese bowl, and a rain. Florida's got to get with the game. The rains here at Bucky's are only a dollar ninety eight. They're like three times that in Florida. It's like three twenty four. Yeah, and then uh, we'll, we'll get to uh, Barber's. Go to Will Call. Get our tickets, and then. Uh, Hopefully get our names on the list and go ride some cool demo rides.
All right, I forgot to end out uh, the first day. It's now Saturday here at Vintage Fest. Cutter and I just got off doing the uh, BMW uh, Moto Rad. Um, we rode the uh, GS 1300s off road. It was super, super good. You get you get two laps of riding off road, and uh, I got my feet soaking wet. One thing I do not like is uh, wet socks. But a lot of the the demo bikes here they have Triumph, Morini, Indian, CF Moto, Yamaha, Suzuki. I'm wet. Uh, BMW and uh, Royal Enfield. So we are we are leaving today. Unfortunately, we watched a little bit of sidecar vintage sidecar uh, racing uh, this morning, and then we're about to go demo. I'm riding the Habusa. Connor, what are you riding? The G, the G, and then he's going to ride the uh, Jixer Adar, and then we're going to get lunch, and then probably head on out. But I'll show you guys. Uh, over at the fan zone everything that's going on over at the fan zone and everything else but we've had an absolute blast and the weather could not be uh, any better and coming back there it's going to slow it down now one of the other cool features about this bike is it actually can sense if it's tipping over. So right now the bike knows it's tipping over, so it actually picks the idle up a little bit. And while I know you're thinking, man, Teach is super talented, that's actually the bike doing its job right there, helping to keep that bike off the ground. And he gets a little mad when I say that. You guys give him a big round of applause right here. He's having fun. <laughs> that clutched right up again. Nothing like using a full carbon and titanium. Just finished uh, eating lunch up here at Bucky's. We had the little club melt. If you never had the club melt, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, before we got here or got done, this got done riding the all brand new 2020 faux, maybe it's 25, I don't remember, Habusa. That thing was an absolute uh, freaking blast. We're going to go back in to the event one last time before we leave. And I'm gonna walk you guys around the uh, the fan zone area. Swap meet is the swap meet if you've never seen it. Um, yeah. So I know this video is kind of all over the place, but we're having a blast. All right. So here is the uh, the parking lot over here where the uh, demo rides are happening. And as far as you can see, there's just nothing but absolute freaking bikes uh, everywhere. Bicycle, I would probably say maybe somewhere in the ballpark of. 40 to 60,000 people's people in attendance from over from yesterday and today and then you know there's bikes parked all along that way bikes parked all along back there uh, where the swap meet is and then you can see right there there's some RV camping but we're gonna head over uh, down to the fan zone and walk you guys around and show you what's what's uh, out and about over there some more bikes on the back side of the, uh, the demo side if you were at Barber Small Boy, this was this was the hill that uh, we went down in the in the little kids' cars. He's definitely got a drive clutch. So many bikes, so many people, and there was still traffic coming coming in. People that be printed now, this is the way it's going to be man. Speaking of that, this young man, 65 years of age, right here, Marcus Ricketts, he's in a handful of classes. The man he handed me last year. Yamaha 10. Yeah. When Vance is here, we'll let you know when they show up. All the demo rides, bikes that you can ride for uh, Yamaha. On a modern support collection with our team does keep the and like I said, you got CF Moto, Indian, Triumph. So many freaking bikes you can demo. Happy yo!
the uh, fan zone. They got stuff for the kids. Uh, a lot of vendors often do there. Places to eat all through here. And then when we get further over there, I'll show you uh, the BMW Moto Rad. And then way back there in the back is the Wall of Death. And then uh, they have the ball in the cage of them going all in the circle and stuff. All right, here's some vintage motorcycle racing happening right here. All right, so that is a wrap for us for Barber Vintage Fest 2024. We have a little bit over, a, uh, we have a little over five and a half hour ride, not including stops. So uh, by the time we get home, it, it'll definitely be uh, dark outside, but you know, between fueling up, stretching and all that stuff. But it's Connor's first time and he had a blast. What'd you think about it? Oh, it, it was amazing. The BMW off-road adventure was, yeah, I, I figured that that would be his, his favorite thing. So hopefully next year when we come, uh, Connor and I can go up to South Carolina and do the BMW um, riders course on a GS. Yeah, two day, two day rider course. But we had an absolute uh, blast here. So uh, safe travels ahead. And uh, yeah, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.